Hey Credit Warriors, Credit Shippo here. Well, as you can see, we are back in the UK, but I want to share with you one more hotel free night that we did in Taiwan, which was pretty luxurious, and that is none other than the Grand Hyatt in Taipei. We used the free night from the Hyatt credit card from Chase uh, to book this hotel. They give you a free night up to category four, um, which in you know the West doesn't really get you something that luxurious, but in Asia, it definitely means luxury, which is awesome. So this hotel, the Grand Hyatt Taipei, um, it's in the Xinyi district in Taipei, which is basically kind of like the central business district of the city. It's where Taipei 101 is, the former tallest building in the world, which was overtaken by the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, which I also saw on my trip, which was very, very cool. Tell you about that in another video. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's in Xinyi district. Um, now, we actually, uh, we got upgraded on this. Uh, we actually paid for an upgrade. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later on in the video. Uh, but first, I want to show you a few shots um, of the hotel and give you a room tour. So it's very, very cool. As you come in, you've got this European style uh, fountains, which are great. Uh, and now let's cut to the room. Hey guys, so this is a little bit of a room tour of our room here at the uh, Grand Hyatt Taipei. Um, first thing I want to show you uh, is the view of Taipei 101. I've got another shot that I'll, I'll put on screen so you guys can check out and right by the window here. And it just shows you how huge Taipei 101, the former tallest building in the world is. It's 101 floors. We're on the 21st floor here in this hotel and we are a, a fraction of the way up it. It feels like we're about 10% up it. In theory, we should be about 20% up it, but I don't think we are. I think we're like maybe 15% of the way uh, up that building. It really is absolutely huge. So. Uh, very cool view of uh, Taipei 101 or Yiling Yi, Taipei Yiling Yi. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look around the room. So it's pretty cool. They've got some like uh, quite nice traditional art on the wall. Art in hotels is normally sketchy modern art crap. Um, quite big TV, like uh, I don't know, 60 inches maybe, 50 to 60 inches. Uh, and a nice desk here uh, that you can use. Now let's have a look. Uh, usual thing. Closets over here. You've got the safe in here and this. I thought that was a door, but actually it's just a like an April Fool's joke, like a fake door. Um, anyway, whatever, you know. Uh, this one here, I've just got some uh, some bags and these drawers. Nothing, uh, nothing really that great. All right, let's have a look over here. What have we got? We have a coffee machine. Um, I don't know what this is. It looks kind of similar to an espresso machine. Uh, it's Ely, so it's some other kind of pod-based coffee machine, I guess. Uh, you've got the fridge and uh, in here, mini bar, quite nice. And look, they put a bottle of Jack Daniels right here to tempt you. Um, I'm guessing the coffee and tea and stuff is all in here, which, yep, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. The room also has electric blinds uh, to reveal that amazing view. Um, now let's go and have a look at some other stuff. And now for a look at the bathroom, as you can see from these shots, the bathroom is pretty luxurious. All right, let's have a look at this. I always love these little goodie boxes like this, even though they're not really that exciting, but yeah, what have we got? Toothbrushes, mouthwash. Okay, that's kind of cool. I've never seen mouthwash like that. Reminds me of the sugar in Japan. Uh, yeah, toothpaste here. You've got, uh, what's this? Body lotion so you can cream yourself, earbuds, uh, Q-tips. What's this? Oh, this is kind of, this is one of those loofah things for scratching your back. That's quite cool. You have those in Israel. Anyway, pretty cool little uh, box of tricks there. One thing I noticed about this bath as well is that it has an additional shower here. So if you've, uh, you know, if you're having a bath, you can also spray some water on yourself if you want to rinse off with clean water or whatever. Pretty cool. Another cool thing about the bathroom is that you can independently control the light. So this one turns off the main light, uh, and then uh, it just leaves you with this uh, awesome-looking mirror uh, like that. And then you can obviously turn that off, and you're left with darkness. Great for. Uh, for the evening, you know, when you get up in the middle of the night, you can just come in with this sort of low level uh, mirror and these two additional lights left and right. And one cool thing about this room in general, like in the bathroom, you had different light switches. Here you've got this panel sort of lit up and you can, you know, you can turn on different lights. You've got a master switch there. You can just turn on everything or turn off everything, whatever you've got on. So absolutely awesome. The Regent could really learn from this because the lights there uh, were not independent. You either had everything off or everything on. 
And I did mention at the beginning of this video that we actually uh, did an upgrade. So this was a paid upgrade. We were offered it uh, when we were checking in. And basically for about 1,000, uh, sorry, not 1,000, 100 US dollars, um, we could upgrade to the club level with access to the lounge and everything. Now, the reason we did this, um, obviously in the lounge, they provide evening meal and a breakfast free of charge. Well, you've actually paid for the upgrade, so it's not free, but you know you know what I mean, right? So buffet, evening meal, and breakfast in the lounge, which you'd otherwise have to pay for independently. Um, now, you might say, well, you're in Asia, you could just go to a real cheap place and you know save a lot of money that way. But actually in Xi district in Taipei, it's super expensive, okay? It's basically everything there is aimed at Westerners, uh, you know, foreign businessmen and stuff because it is the central business district. Um, a lot of people come to this area to go to Taipei 101 uh, and also to go to the World Trade Center and go to these trade shows that they have um, in this area. So it's very, very expensive. It's really hard to find like a little noodle shop or dumpling shop. Everything is like Western prices basically. So. Uh, for a family of four to do this upgrade for $100 to get evening meal and breakfast out of it, or you can eat buffet, um, it actually saved us probably quite a bit of money. Uh, and it, you know, the food was really good as well. And the environment, as you can see from these shots, is pretty nice too. So that's sometimes a great little hack is to, you know, especially if you've got quite a few people in the room, to get lounge access. And then you can eat meals for free in the lounge. You don't need to go outside uh, and, you know, and buy meals. Uh, like we said, also because of Discover status, we also got um, a 2 p.m. late check. Uh, and like we said, this was a free night, uh, Hyatt Category 4. Um, so yeah, we used the free night from the Hyatt credit card for this very luxurious stay at this great hotel in Taiwan. If you guys are interested um, in the Hyatt credit card, we'll put the details below. It gives you an annual free night, which is certainly very, very useful. Uh, even in the West, you know, you can use it for a mid-range hotel, but like we said, in Asia, it does mean luxury. So a great use for hotel free nights is to go to a cheaper country uh, and redeem them there and you get a luxury hotel. So like we said, link below, feel free to check it out. Please subscribe if you're new for more videos about travel and credit cards. Uh, we will be back in the US in about a week's time. Um, so we'll be back to more normal content, reporting on credit card news and stuff like that. Uh, we've just got one more leg on our super amazing, incredible trip, which is a ski trip to France. So uh, do look out for some videos, hotel reviews and stuff like that from there. Um, but we'll see you back in the US in about a week's time. All right, thanks guys. See you later, bye bye.